Hello, it's that college football guy here with another video. Yeah, I'm still at the truck stop. The video I posted last night took forever to upload. I didn't upload until early this morning. Not happy about that. So I got up a little earlier than normal. I gotta head out here in a few minutes, but uh, to put up the video that happened, and it actually broke last night, and I was too damn tired to do it last night, so I'm gonna do it this morning. Um, <clears throat> first off, it's a story about Michigan co-offensive coordinator Matt Weiss has been placed on leave, according to an athletic department spokesman, as the school's police department told ESPN it is investigating a report of computer access crimes that occurred in December at the team's facility. First, let's get this out the way. Everyone, please smash the like button, hit that thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, helps with the analytics, helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. I want to hear your reactions to this story. And subscribe to the channel. We're getting our way up there to get some more subscribers. Let's see if we can do it now. I know I apologize for being dark in here, but you only got one light in the truck, so, I, you know, not exactly much I can do. Um, but it is somewhat of a light in the truck here, since it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, this all this information is provided from a story from Pete Thamel and Dan Murphy from ESPN. Credit is due, and it's taken directly from the story. So I'm going to read you the story from the beginning. Okay, here we go. Michigan co-offensive coordinator, well, not the full story, I took excerpts out of it, but Michigan co-offensive coordinator Matt Weiss has been placed on, on leave, according to an athletic department spokesman, as the school's police department told ESPN is investigating a, a, quote, report of computer access crimes, end quote, that occurred in December at the team's football facility. The University of Michigan Police Department acknowledged in a statement to ESPN on Tuesday night that it's investigating an apparent a potential crime at Shem Beckler Hall. The police released the statement to ESPN. Hold on, I read this correctly. Let me just... When asked specifically about an investigation into Weiss, although the statement doesn't acknowledge anyone by name, um, the spokesman said Weiss has not been with the team or in the building recently. Sources told ESPN that there is an he has, Weiss has not been on the road recruiting for the Wolverines. A police spokesperson said the department couldn't share any additional information because this is an ongoing investigation. Well, no kidding, you can't share anything because you're not going to let anything go. That's kind of point obvious. Weiss said it, Weiss gave a standard press release statement. I will be I'm going to take excerpts from it, but full cooperation with investigators. I look forward to for this matter to be resolved and you know, the standard thing on there I have no further comment to make after the about comment to make standard press release here innocent until proven guilty folks remember that innocent until proven guilty um, well there is an interesting statement here last week a neighbor of Weiss's in Ann Arbor told ESPN that several unmarked cars showed up outside Weiss's home would appear to be some type of police presence the neighbor didn't want to be named, asked not to be named in the story for maybe possibly fear of retaliation or something. The search of Weiss's home is believed to be tied to the university police investigation, according to sources. And then here's an actual official statement, short one that it is, from the University of Michigan Police. University of Michigan Police Department is investigating a report of computer access crimes that occurred at Schembechler Hall during December 21st through December 23rd, 2022. University of Michigan Deputy Chief of Police Crystal James said in a statement, Since this is an ongoing investigation, there is no further information to share. Michigan had problems enough with everything going on. You know, I just wouldn't like the light on that. It doesn't really help. Matter which way I go, does it? It just makes things worse. It's just what it is in this truck. It's so early in the morning. But you had the Harbaugh situation with Harbaugh leaving and everything else going on, and now... This pops up. I Computer access crimes. I have been wrapping my head around this, trying to figure, what are we talking about here? Gathering personal information of students, banking information, um, medical records. I have no idea what this computer access crime could be. If someone wants to let me know down in the comments what this is, I would really like to know. Because I've been racking my brain trying to think of it. And computer access crime is rather vague. So I have no idea what this could be. And someone let me know down in the comments, please, what is this? Because I have absolutely no idea. 
So, thanks everybody for watching the video. It's time to, unfortunately, get back to work. I gotta head north, just outside of Lexington, Kentucky, for a delivery, and then we'll see what happens. So, thanks everybody for watching the video. Hope everybody has a great Wednesday morning and a great day. Thanks everybody. But yeah, so damn early, I can't even talk straight. Tell I'm a little tired, but hey, life of a trucker, gotta keep pushing, keep the hammer down. Thanks everybody for watching. Be safe and please be good to each other.